Good morning. Happy Tuesday, you guys. So we're going to do body sculpt today. Oops, I'm scooting something out of my mouth. And what you need? You need three or four sets of dumbbells. Your choice of weights, whatever you have at home will work. If you want heavier weight, maybe grab some household items. That works too. And if you have a loop band, right, like this, please grab one and if you don't have one, don't worry because you don't have to use it. We're going to use it for later on for hip bridges uh, later on in this workout. So these loop bands, although they look the same, are different companies, right? This is a red band. It's usually kind of a uh, heavy band. This is a real easy band, and I don't even know what company this is. This is one of those no-name bands, you know. Amazon has tons and tons of sets. Of bands so you get a set when you order them right this is a Lynn band and this is the same color but this says heavy and it is right it's really thick it's really heavy to pull these are 12 inch bands and that's what I recommend because when you have the smaller bands the uh, the nine or the six inch bands you can't get a range of motion with them right so if they have a shiny side and a dull side you can see what side doesn't doesn't slide on your clothing, right? These bands will not roll up on you because they're a little bit longer and you have a better range of motion, so they shouldn't roll up on you. So I'm going to use this one because it's it's a it's a heavy band, right? It's not super heavy, but it's heavy enough. And several sets of dumbbells if you have them. If you only have two or three sets, I'll guide you as we go. But we're going to do everything today. So we're going to start off with some shoulders. Because I like to do shoulders first to get everything warmed up. So what you need right now is just... And I'm turning the music on. This is strength week, you guys. Woo! All right, music on. Here it is. All right, listen up. Open up wide. Good. If this gets out of focus, I'll try to notice and come and tap my phone. It's a new phone. And the camera, the video camera has a little bit of So I'm going to try to take care of that later today, right? Take shoulder cross. Now, bring it up. And we're just stretching quick. Switch elbows. Quick stretch. And this arm comes under and across. And I've got all royalty-free music on today, so we won't get dinged for anything. Come around front, round your upper back, push it forward. Now just roll and pull, one arm at a time, so you can stretch all the weight up and down your lats. Other side, switch. Awesome, you guys. Come to the middle. Right here, put your elbows on your legs. Give me a flat back right here. And then I want you to lift your hips and come all the way forward and down. Woo. Awesome, you guys. Slow roll up. Oh, now, if you do not have a weight bench, take a hand, pull it back. Get yourself a sturdy chair. You guys that come to class know that we use chairs for weight benches. You will need that for one or two things that we're doing today. And, um, you know, you can do it standing or laying down too, all right? Make a fist, pull. We'll do our best to make do because we're at home. And we are sweating our butts off at home, which is always a good thing, right? Don't forget your thumbs. Stretch your thumb. Good. Come up. Other hand up. Ooh, who's on with me? Wow, Leanne. Get you some weights, girl. Let's do it. Nice to see you. Make a fist. Whoa, Leanne. Done on the, in the house, guys. Flip it over. Awesome, you guys. Now roll. We're gonna grab super light shoulder weight. I'm gonna get sixes, because that's what I got in front of me right now. Picking them up, I want it to be light, okay? We're gonna go heavier just a bit. So you're gonna roll your shoulders round, squeeze, slide it down, bend your legs, all right? So we're gonna go palms down, straight up shoulder level, lock your abs, let's go. Up and down, lift, and lower. Now listen, anytime this feels too heavy, go lighter or put it down, right? We're gonna have lots of reps here. 
up and down. Breathe. That looks good. Stay with me. Try not to rush. Lock in your abs. Bend your legs so you have lots of support. Eight to go. Seven. Six. Four more. Oh, it's going quick. Two more. Soft bend in the elbow. Done. Roll your shoulders. We're not done. We're just done with that part. We're going to the same reps. Shoulders down. So arm to level and down. Up and down. You got arm to level only here. Breathe. Good morning, guys. Woo. Up and down. Now you can do this workout at least twice a week. You want to do it three times a week, go for it. Yeah, strength week continues. Seven to go, you guys. Here we go. Seven. Soft bend in the elbows. Reach long. Arm to level only. Four. Oh, that's three. Two. <laughs> Was I going to make it bigger? Maybe. One more set. Thumbs up. Front and side, one of each. So we're going to the front first, and then to the side, one of each. Here we go. Thumbs up, thumbs up. See the difference? This is thumbs up. You're working a little different part of your shoulder here. Looking good, you guys. I can see you. Woo, I talked to Carrie this morning on, on Messenger, or messages, text. She's not on Facebook, but she's doing all these workouts from YouTube. You can do the same.
Oh, it still looks pretty clear. All right, good. Grab your heavier set of weights. We're going less reps and a little slower move, all right? I'm going to use 20. Put them right there. Get your positioning. Flat back, chin level. Kick them up 90 degrees. Two up, two down. Are you ready? Let's do it. Up, together, down, 90. Squeeze it, push it. Now pull it down. Up, two, don't go any faster. Slower is fine, faster is not. I want you to control. Up, up, down, down. Up, two, down, two. Keep breathing. Lock those abs in super tight. Three to go. My right arm doesn't want to finish. Here it is. Stop. Elbows in. Sit up slowly so you don't get dizzy. Set the weights down. All right, good. Shake it off. Stretch it out. Get a little drink. Let me see if it's blurry. Did it get blurry on you guys? Let me know. Good morning, Sarah. Woo. All right. Grab a water. We're going to go right into chest press. We have a progressive set, which means you start with the lightweight, you go to the mid-range, then you go to the heavy, you stop, and then you reverse it. You go heavy, mid-range, light. So you can do this on the floor on a mat. I'm going to do it on the bench so you can see me better, all right? And I'm just going to go all the way down to the bottom, here. So my bench is flat, that's what we want. I'm going to go, uh, I might go up to 25, we'll see. Get one of each weight on either side of you. All right, starting with weight is for you. If you only have two or three sets of weights, do the heavier set twice, all right? All right. Get yourself set. Make sure you're writing the weight levels down. Write them down, all right? Start with everybody down. Roll your hips up. Tuck your abs in. Here we go. All right. Starting at the top, weights are end to end. Now they need to be over your bra line, right? Nipple line, whatever you call it. Shoulders away from jaw. So if your arms are up here, push them away from you slightly, yes? Bring your elbows And let's go singles. Go one up and down. Squeeze your abs in and down. Your legs, if you're on the floor, your legs be bent like this. Squeeze, I'll do this. I just scoot up a little bit. Squeeze your abs in and down. Squeeze your cleavage together. You've got visual. Now, breathe. If you're feeling your butt on the floor, you've got to roll your hips up more. Up and down. Seven to go. Seven. Push with your abs. Long arms. Here's four. Three. Watch those arms. Keep the shoulders down. One more. Stop at the bottom. Bring your elbows in. Slowly sit up. Sit those weights down, but put them hand, keep them handy because you're going to use them again, all right? All right, go up in weight. Less reps, heavier weight. Grab it. Woo. Oh, yeah. Get it set up. Roll it down. Roll your hips up so your low back is down and your abs are tight. Start at the top. Push the arms down, shoulders down. Elbows to the bottom. Let's go. Take it up and down. Squeeze those abs in. Long arms. And push. And pull. Yeah. Here's halfway. Give me six more. Just like that. Let's go. Six. Five. Yeah. Three. I like this music, actually. Two. Stop, bring them in, slowly sit up. Weights down, remember you can use them again. All right, shake everything off. Up in weight, heavier weight, less reps. You only have eight reps. Go as heavy as you can possibly go. 
I know Kim Baker wishes she had 45 pound weights at home because that's her goal. That's what she uses. She uses 45s and 50s. Way too much for me. All right, come on down. Push them to the top. Bring your elbows to the bottom. And let's go. Eight reps. Roll your hips up. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Keep pushing with your abs. Squeeze that knee reach. Four. Do you feel stronger already? Come on. Two. One. Bring them in and down. Sit up. You're going to pick them back up in just a sec. Let me give you some advice and some technique training while you're taking a little break. Grab water. Write down what you just used. Watch or listen. Or both, right? So when you are doing a chest press and you come down to 90 here, you should not see a straight line from your shoulder to your elbow. That's too much stress on your shoulder joint. Push down. So you should have a little angle from elbow to shoulder here. As you push your weights, they're over the, you know, yeah, right here. I don't need to say it. All right. Who's in? Are you ready? We're going to start back with the heavy, then go mid-range, and then go light. All right, let's go. Grab your heaviest weight. It's time to get rocking and rolling, kids. Oh, these feel heavier every time I pick them up. Oh, that's probably what they're supposed to do, right? All right, to the top. Shoulders away from jaw. Start at the bottom. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six. Four more. Four. Lock it in. Three. Two. Stop at the bottom, hold it for a sec. Yeah, I know. All right, elbows in, slowly sit up. You can get rid of those heavy weights. Woo! All right, did you hear that? It doesn't matter, move my weight crap in my cabinet there. All right, mid-range. Mid-range, you should have one of each weight level on either side of you to grab quickly. Come on down, hips up, start in the top. Put your elbows down, get your set, and let's go up and down. Push and pull. Everything that you do when you are resistance training is a push and a pull. Now, up. Good. Four to go. Good. Three. Come on. Two. Push those shoulders down. Push them down. Stop here. Bring your elbows in. Good. All right, gonna roll those out of my way. We're going on to weights, grab them. Reset, always roll your hips up and reset before you start. Let your abs do a lot of this work. Shoulders away from jaw at the bottom. And let's go, here we go. Up and down. Squeeze and pull. Everything squeezes. Push and pull. Push and pull. Give me eight and down. Seven. Good. Keep those abs up. Six. Five. Squeeze it. Four. I got one more. How about you guys? Stop. Elbows in. Slowly sit up. Woo! Awesome. How did you do? All right, come on up. Write that down. Oh, there it is. Just got focused again. Write that down and um, get a water. I'm going to get water. I hope you're getting some. Uh... Woo. All right. Open up. Lace your fingers. Open your chest. Stretch it out. Chest and shoulder stretch right here. Roll it. Now we're going to go to back. All right, so. Here's what you're gonna need for back. We're gonna do five by five, one heavy, one style of row. Last time we did, last week we did three styles of rowing, more weights and more reps. Today we're doing five heavy weights. I got something on my legs. Oh, it's from my from my weight, paint from my weight. All right, so we're gonna do a heavy weight, five rows. Stop, five more. So five by five, and then we're gonna do one arm flies. All right, so these are one-arm rows to one-arm flies. Grab a heavy weight. If you have a 20-pound weight, you can use that. Please use that. If you don't, use what you have. 
All right, if you need to double up, if you have two 10 pound weights and you can hold them in one hand, do that, it's okay. All right, now if you have a chair, I want you to use the chair to put one knee up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn so you can see, like you can see me here, right? Okay, so one knee up, right arm here, you're gonna pull and stop at the knee. Watch, pull, don't flat, shoulder square, pull, push. All right, then we're gonna do the other side. So grab your weight, let's get rolling. Oh, why does it always feel heavier? Come on, when you know you gotta do this, right? It's all right. Come on, shoulders square. Put your left knee up if you want your hand down. Please do, if you wanna keep your foot back, please do. Otherwise, if you're standing, you can be standing and do this. Flatten up, let's go. Five, four, three, flat back. Two, one, stop at the bottom, keep your shoulders square, don't drop it, keep it square. Second set, five, four, three, two, one, stop at the top this time, hold it. Keep your elbow up and back, shoulders square. Drop it to the knee, set three, five, four, three, Lock it in, two, one, stop at the knee and hold, hold, hold. Lock it in, ready for step four, flatten out your back, here we go. Five, four, it's burning, three, two, one, stop at the top, pull it in, put the weight against your leg if you need to support it. Squeeze it, let it burn. Use your abs, they're working for you. Stop at the bottom, last set, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, set that weight down. Come on up, round your back as you come up, roll it. All we're gonna do is switch sides, yeah? So you're gonna put your right foot up. Right foot up, left arm has the weight. All right, I'll get to you in a minute. When we're done here. All right, knee up. Left foot, left arm, flat back. Let's row. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop at the knee. Remember, don't drop your shoulder. You're not reaching for anything. Set two, brace your abs. Five, four, three. Then that standing leg knee a little bit. Flat up, 
and in. Pull. Pull. You should feel your lats. You should feel your upper and mid back. You should feel your abs a lot. Four more, guys. Here's four. Three. Two. Last one. All right, stop. Go heavier, less reps. Put that weight down. I'm going three pounds heavier. We have eight reps to do with the heavier weight. All right, let's go. You need 12 with the mid range. We're going to go eight with the heavier. All right, here we go. Now, stay safe. Use the weight levels that work for you. But you've got to tuck your abs in tight and you've got to use your abs and your legs to get things done. Here we go. Eight. Oh, that's heavy. Seven. Pull. Six. Pull back just a little bit. Oh. Three more. Tuck it in. Two more. Oh. Stop there. Shake it off. Turn around. Go to the other side. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Turning around. Grabbing. Weight in your left hand. Right knee up. Shoulders square. Here we go. Fly out and in. Out and in. Squeeze the back of your body. Out and in. Halfway. Tuck your abs in. One more. Oh. Done. Set that down. Pick up your next weight level. Get it ready, shake yourself off, relax your back for a minute. Good job, you guys. I know it's sweaty work, yeah? But you came for the sweat, you're gonna get it. All right, strength week, don't fool around. All right, here we go. Shoulder back, let's go. Eight, this is your heavyweight. Seven, six, five, oh my God. Four, three, use your abs, two, Oh, set her down. Come on up. Woo! Stretch here. Oh, it's a little blurry. All right, I'm always checking to make sure it's not blurry. I put my hand here. It'll focus again. All right. Woo! You guys. <laughs> How did that feel? Give yourself a hug. Get a drink of water. Wow. Woo! It is time to hit some triceps. I know you're so excited, right? All right, you've got. We're gonna do tricep press, tricep extensions, laying down, laying down on your mat or your bench, if you have a bench. Then we're gonna go to the floor because we have tricep blaster push-ups for Sally. All right, so all you need is a light, to mid-range tricep weight, which is maybe a 12 for me, right? Could be less for you. Make up your mind, decide. All right, I got 12s right here. I'm gonna use them. And I've got my mat ready for the push-ups. Woo! <laughs> if I'm ready for them, all right, here we go. So all you gotta do is lie down flat, grab the weight level that you're using. I, I haven't used anything less than 12 for anything except shoulders today. So that's what, that was my goal, right? I just kind of had a little goal for that. So my lightest weight's 12 all day long except for shoulders. Here we go. All right, we're gonna go down to the bench or the floor, if you're on the floor, that's fine. Roll your hips up, feet in if you want. I'm gonna do this because this is what you look like on the floor, yes? Elbows tucked into your side. Shoulders away from your jaw. Breathe, tuck your abs, let's go. Bottom half, up, down. Just bottom halves. All right, listen. You should be feeling your abs. Roll up your hips a little more. Keep it up, keep it up. Eight, seven, six. Oh yeah. Here's four, three. All the way, guys. Up and down. Push, push hard. Use your abs right there. So you do not want your shoulders doing this work. Use your abs, use the back of your arm. Push it up and down. Woo! 
Give me eight more of those. Let's start on the last eight right now. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Woo! I'm counting just because it makes me feel better. Stop. Right here. Now, 90 degree arms. Take it down. Up. Your goal is to bend your arms only 90 degrees. If you're going lower than 90 here, you've got to watch out because that can mess up your elbow tendons. Add your shoulders. Straight wrist, bend, and lift. If you need to go lighter, go lighter for this. Six to go. Six and up. Five. Good. the camera down a little so you can see my mat all right and we are back in focus all right there it is so tricep blaster most of you that uh, do this with me all the time know how this goes I'm gonna move the bench delete it all right watch so we're starting in a hands under knees behind push-up position but watch you're gonna push your body forward down take it back take it down and straight up so there's actually two push-ups for every one rep all right let me do it again real slow do it with me do it with me so you get the feel of it all right so tricep position abs locked we're going down take it down Push it back, take it down, straight up. All right, so don't go back the second time. I'm ready for reps. Are you ready for eight reps? Let's go. Down, back, down, straight up. Do it again. Down, back, down, straight up. Now listen. Pull your abs and your ribs up. There. This is number four. Let's do it again. Woo. Give me a few more. Come on. Come on. I'm going to ask you to give me two more. Here we go. One more. Off some of this. Stretch it quick, stretch it quick. How did that feel? Awful? I know. I don't care. Time to get up for some biceps. I'm going to turn the camera back up a little bit so you can see what's going on. Because I think even if I stand back here, my head's cut off. All right, here we go. Get water. Write down the weight levels you just used or you're going to use for your bicep work, all right? Let's see what that looks like. Oh, still cut my head off. <laughs> All right. So for biceps, we're going to go heavy crossover biceps. So grab a heavy bicep weight for you. Oh, I'm still cut off. Here we go. Here we go. It's a crossover palm up. And then we're going light curls, hammer curls to a side V curl. And a side V curl is just what it sounds like. Here, here. All right, so starting with the heaviest weight. Oh, I'm trying to decide. 20s, I guess, huh? Do that with me. If you have 20s, give those 20s. Yes, you can. Roll your shoulders, one arm curl. Feet under hips, 
shoulders down, bend your legs, lock your abs. So you should not be in this position, you should be in this position, all right? Right on first, here we go. Up and down, left arm. Go to the opposite side of your chest, palm up. Notice how my thumb is pointing at you, and my pinky is pointing at my chest. Up and down, these are not fast. If you need to slow down, you can slow down. Just don't speed up. All right, keep controlling, keep control. Good. Woo! Ten more. Not each arm, but ten total. Good. Good. Woo! Two more. Lock those abs, lock those abs. Done. Done with heavy. Oh my God, if you're out of breath like me, you use the right weight level. Put them down. All right. Get a little bit lighter set of weight for your biceps. All right. Woo. We got hammer to palm, and then we got B curls. Hold my head not too cut off. I just want you to see what's going on with my arms and legs and stuff, all right? Here we go. Take it up. Stop at the chest, back down. Watch, do not do this. Don't swing your weights out. That's really bad for your elbows, wrists, and shoulders. So never do that. And never swing at the bottom. It feels heavy already, does it? Up, up, down, down. Lock your abs, up, and down. Only go to your chest. Elbows in line, the floor right there. Up, up. Now, one arm singles, up and down. Up and down. Don't stop because this is a burnout. Take it up and down. Stop at your leg. No back swings, no back swings, no momentum. The only momentum you're using is your brain, right? Lock your abs. Lock your abs. Come on. Four. Three. One more. Now, to the side. Go one arm, one arm. Here. Thumb to shoulder. Make a V. Make a V. Good. Stop outside your thigh or right behind it. Four more. Then we'll go both arms. Burn out. Burn out. If you need to put the weight down, put it down, but I bet you don't. Two more. Both arms, a little slower. Here we go. Up, down, and down. Up, and down. <laughs> Can you talk? Woo! Take it up. Up, down, down. Up, up. Six to go. Oh, what? Yeah. Five. Go back to one arm if you need to. Four. Bend your legs a little more. Three. Two. Good. Oh. Did you think that was hard? Good. All right. Good job. Stretch it out. Woo. Open up, thumbs down, pull back. All right. We're going to the floor, you guys. Get a drink of water. We're going to the floor. I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit again. All right. Keeping it in focus, I hope. So we've got hip bridges with the band, right? I'm gonna use my blue band that I showed you earlier. Woo. And then we're going to do some uh, rolling. You won't need any weight for this. We're going to do some rolling hovers. All right, so the rolling hovers are going to lead us to a hip lift. Lucky you and lucky me. All right, get your band. Put it on right above your knees. Uh, we got all blurry again, didn't we? Put your band on while I see if it's blurry up here. 
I'm trying to make sure it doesn't stay blurry. Is that okay? There we go. All right. So if your band is just right above your knees, that's great. That's perfect. All you gotta do is lie down. All right. I'm gonna put the shiny side on my pants. I hope and it won't slide. I don't think it'll slide. This band doesn't usually slide. All right. You should have a good range of motion. Yeah. Lie down. All right. Get your heels close to your butt. You should be able to touch the back of your shoes here. All right. Roll your shoulders in and down. Palms up. All right, listen up. I want you to put your heels close together and lift. I want your knees separated. We're going to clamshell out and in. Clamshell out and in. Yeah, make sure the band is not too high up. It should just be right above your knees. Otherwise, it's not working, right? Four more, just like that. Slow. Four. Lift your hips up. Three. Did you drop them? Two. Stop here, stop here, pulse it out. Eight, eight, seven, seven, two each time. Yeah. Come on. If you do singles, four, three, two, one. Roll down for a second, reset. Get your feet in line with your hips, but still keep them really close to your butt so you can actually touch your heels if you can get that far in. It's totally your body, what everybody does, right? Now, roll back up. Make sure your band is still right above your knees and hasn't slid up. Here we go. As high as you can go, I want you to take your front foot up. 90 degrees, push it forward, stop over the knee. Push forward, stop over the knee. Keep your hips lifted. Don't push up, push forward like you're slamming a door. Lock your heel right here, push it. One more. Bring it in. Now, from the foot that's on the floor, start pulsing. Up. Up. Take it up. Push it. Push from the foot that's on the floor. Push. Now, speed that up. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Speed it up. Six. Five. Four. Three. Is it burning? Two. One. Stop. Put that foot down. Don't roll down unless you need to. Other foot up in the air. Lock your foot. Toe to your shin. Push the door. Shut. Bring the knee over the hip. Now listen, if you're pulling your knee in all the way here, stop doing that. I want you to use your abs. So stop when your knee's over your hip. Out. In. Woo! Three. Two. One. Stop here. We got that pulse. Slow pulse. Up. Slow. Lock that toe. Push. Start to speed it up. Let's go. Push. Up. 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 Ooh, burn it up. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you can. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Put your foot down. Take your hips all the way up. Pulse. Up. Up. Oh, does it feel better to have both heels down? Woo! Got eight. Seven. Push higher now. Higher. You can do this. Four. Three. It feels like it's burning. All right, roll down. Hug your knees. Oh, roll around, roll around. You can take off your band. Wow. All right, guys. Stay where you are. We got one more thing to do before we stretch. All right. I want you to flip over to a hover. I got to get my towel. Hang on. I'm sweating. Flip over to a hover forearms and knees to begin. Right here. Forearms and knees to begin. So that means pull all this in, right? Toes on the floor. Now, I want you to come up to a toe hover, if you can do that. So that means you're gonna squeeze your knees up into the back of your leg. That's the only thing different you're gonna do. Get your feet wider than your hips, curl your toes under, and let's go. Squeeze your knees, see that? That's all you gotta do. Hold on, hold on. Woo. Hold on, push your heels back a little bit. Tighten your abs a lot. 
We're just gonna hold this for a little bit, and then we're gonna roll towards me. You're gonna roll to me. Here we go, eight, seven, six. Squeeze your knees, squeeze your legs and butt. Squeeze your ass. Three, two, one. Now, roll to me, and you can put one knee down if you like, or both feet. We're just gonna hip lift, here we go. Up, up, lift. Woo! Come on. Give me eight more. Eight, seven, are you okay? Are you breathing? Four to go. Three, two, one. Come down to the middle, drop your knees, turn the other way. I'm just gonna turn around this way so I can still face you guys. Woo! Back to hover. Knees or toes, start on your knees and squeeze your knees into the back of your legs. Remember that's all you have to do. Hold it. Hold tight. This is pretty easy for most of you guys. If it isn't, put those knees down. I want you to get stronger without getting hurt. Hold tighter, hold tighter. Almost there. Yeah. All right, roll to the side. Either one knee down or both feet stacked or scissors. I'm gonna stack my feet. They're sliding a little bit. Here we go. Reach, set it up, lift your chest. Let's go. Up, down, up, down. Good. Woo! Eight more, guys. Eight, seven, you got it. Six, five, I know, I love it. Four, three, two, hold, come down easy. From here, all you gotta do is sit back in child's pose. Did you have a good workout? I hope you did. Woo! Come on. Sitting back, child's pose, guys. Just push your arms forward, drop your head. Push your hips to the back. Woo. Now I want you to slide your right arm forward. Put your left arm back a little. Now push your hip over and down. So see if you can push your armpit down. Push your lats over to the right side of the room and breathe. You're gonna feel this in your shoulders and your lats and your hips. And then I want you to bend your right arm so your fingertips are on your back and press your triceps into the floor. Give yourself a nice tricep stretch. Nice. All right. Stay where you are, just switch arms. Reach with the left, pull the right arm back and sit down and back. You wanna push the left side of your body over to the left side of the room and drop the armpit if you can. Just drop it down a little. Wherever you feel the stretch, let it stretch. Woo. Feels good to me. Great. Now bend that elbow, put your fingertips on your back, and press your tricep down into the floor. Take some deep breaths. Woo. Good work. Come on up. Let's go. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Now, I just want you to round your back to the ceiling. Drop your head. And then reverse it. Lift up your chest as you press your hands into the floor, but do not lift your chin. I don't want you to throw your head back. Right here. I want you to stretch your back. Stretch your abs. Right there. Come on down to the floor. All right, you can push up from here. The sphinx pose, right? Push up from here. If you're feeling a really good stretch, stay here. If you want more, slide your hands back, push up a little more like this, and you should feel everything going on. 
abs, hips, hip flexors, right? Sit back, and all I want you to do is come up to a downward dog, so curl your toes under, lift your hips up, see if you can get your heels to come down. Press your chest towards your legs, drop those heels. Woo. And we're gonna walk hands back to your feet and take a slow roll up. Oh, guys, good work. Oh my gosh, I gotta flip the camera. Take a shoulder across. Take your right arm across, your right shoulder up and under. Ah, so you can feel that nice stretch here. Push your shoulder away from you. Do another tricep. Right here, pull it over. Lengthen your body here. Good. Now reach up and switch your elbow. Pull this one over. Lengthen. All right, come back up, drop your shoulder, pull it in and under, here we go. Nice work. I hope you feel great, you guys. Come around front, round your upper back. Nothing like strengthening your body, right? Round it. And I want you to pull side to side so you feel all of your back, all the way to your hip. And switch when you're ready. Come to the front. And all the way up to the top, pull everything open in goal post. Pull back. Lace your fingers, press down and pull everything open. Now give yourself a hand. I loved it, you guys. Good job, good job, good job. Woo! Ah, oh, focus, dumb thing. All right. You guys, hi, Sherry. Woo! I love that you guys were here with me today. And you can do this workout two or three times a week. Don't forget, it, we are having strength week. It just happened that way, and I love it. And Amy Larkin will be here later today at four or six to do body pump. And I will be here tomorrow morning at 10.30 to do body pump. And we have yoga this week and lots more strength training. Jay's coming in. Uh, we've got grit on Saturday. So you guys, if you're not getting stronger, we're going to talk. Right, Sarah? We're going to talk to y'all if y'all aren't getting stronger this week. Thank you. Love you guys. Have a great day.